So all organisms, including humans, have to sense their environment and have to sense touch and pain, for example. And this is accomplished by very specialized nerve cells in the skin. And characteristic for these nerve cells is that they form these specialized endings that look like little trees called dendrites. Defects in dendrite development have been associated with neurological disease, such as schizophrenia or Alzheimer's disease, for example. This is the first time that we've identified genes that act in the skin to shape those specialized nerve cells that sense touch and pain. For our studies, we're using the small roundworm C. elegans because worms are no different from humans in the sense that they also are able to sense touch and pain. And one of the great advantages is that it shares most of its genes with humans. So we hope that at least some of the findings that we have, we can translate to a better understanding of human health and disease. Our study describing these findings was published in the journal Cell. This project was spearheaded by a postdoc in my laboratory, Dr. Yehuda Salzberg. In the genetic screen, we identified several genes that are required for the formation of these dendrites. And one of those genes was entirely novel and has never been studied in any organism before, and we named this gene Minorin, or MNR1. When this gene is present in a normal animal, the dendrites grow out in the stereotypical pattern and branch to form these menorah-like dendrites. If this gene is absent, the dendrites still grow out, but they are unable to form these stereotypical arbors or dendrites. Since most of the genes are conserved between worms and humans, it is very possible that related processes in humans employ the same genes for development. And that extends to both the sensation of pain or touch, for example, as well as the development of the brain that also contains numerous or billions of highly arborized dendrites in people.